What is going on everybody? I'm back again with another block and I'm in one of my favorite neighborhoods in Manhattan, which is Harlem, all the way in uptown New York. It's been a minute since I've been here and the thing about this neighborhood that's pretty big, divided by East Harlem, West Harlem, which I covered a video two years ago of East Harlem if you want to check it out. But I'm going to walk around some of the main areas of Harlem, which has a lot of history with New York City. So I'm going to take you guys with me, so join me. On 1658, this was a Dutch village, and the name came from the city of Harlem in the Netherlands. And then back in the 19th century, this neighborhood was occupied by the Jews and Italians. 20th century, during the Great Migration, a huge, big African-American community came over here, and it created a Harlem Renaissance. But then came the Great Depression, and it caused like a chaos over here, creating a huge poverty and decline with a lot of job losses. And it was one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in New York City. But then back in the 21st century, a lot of gentrification has happened in the neighborhood and doing a comeback. So I'm gonna walk around, see what's happening, and show you what's happening in this amazing neighborhood that's full and rich of history here in New York City. Always come to the main avenues like 125th, but once you make a detour in streets like this, you can see how beautiful it is, rich with architecture. But like I say, a lot of developments being happening and the gentrification has been coming to the neighborhood. But this neighborhood is really rich in African-American community with New York City, but it's now diverse. But this is the details of the buildings, and this one is really beautiful over here. I love it. And this neighborhood is also cultural and a lot of great jazz music. And if you're a fan of soul food, you can find it here in this neighborhood. Like I say, this neighborhood is huge, so I'm going to make it to my right and start making it deeper into the 130 Street, 140, maybe to 150 Street. Because I don't think I've ever been in that part, but I'm going to see what's happening in different blocks. And then I'm going to make it all the way back here and show you 125th and probably make it a little bit more towards downtown because it's like a little Africa in this neighborhood. And this is actually Fifth Avenue. Yeah, like the one you got in Midtown Manhattan, but this is in Harlem. Rich with beautiful architecture and brownstones. And they got a cathedral over here or a church. And I randomly just pick up some of the streets over here. But I love the way how to keep the streets and how it's surrounded by trees. Which in probably a week or two is going to change the color because we're in the middle of the fall season, but the weather's perfect. But yeah, I think Harlem is... Could be like an underrated neighborhood, but it's totally worth to support. So I can't believe I never made like a proper video for Harlem. But I did make a video of East Harlem, which is also called like Spanish Harlem. A lot of history there, and it did pretty good. I did it in the heart of the pandemic, so I had my mask on. So, but let's walk forward to see what can we find. I'm gonna walk ahead to Malcolm X Boulevard, which is one of the main boulevards here in Harlem. Also, Adam Clayton is another boulevard. But we're gonna make it over here, then make it white. Okay, there's like a little district called Strivers Row, and I believe there's like some historic houses, which I've never been, but I heard a lot of good things about it. And as I make a turn, I love the architecture over here and the balcony, but it looks like it's kind of empty, so I'm not sure if they're renovating this. But I like how they preserve it with the trees and the plants in front. Then we're going to walk forward. And like I say, a lot of streets in Harlem are just like this, beautiful, with brownstones. So a lot of people, they focus on Brooklyn, but you can come uptown and you got streets like this. Then you got a beautiful church. Yeah, this is beautiful architecture right here. I like it so far. And beautiful brownstones. And like I said, I randomly pick up the street. Nothing special, so you just gotta uh, venture around the street so you can see the architecture. And like I said, it's gonna be beautiful in a couple of weeks when the leaves start changing the colors, but yeah. And this over here is Malcolm X Boulevard, also Lenox Avenue. Pretty wide street, pretty basic. If you go closer to 120 foot, that's where you're gonna see a lot of restaurants happening. There are new developments going on over here. But I'm probably gonna walk to 135th and I'll make my left and start seeing what's in the other side. Never been in this part, but I feel like a tourist. Just to see apartment complex and a couple of business in the first floor. Pretty wide streets. Like I say, Harlem, Harlem is, really is really beautiful and really big. I've only been like from 125th and below. So now I'm exploring a little bit deeper uptown. So. Yeah, like I say, don't be afraid to be exploring different neighborhoods. You can find something different. Even this business, they got like the beautiful architecture on top. Harlem Vision Center. 
Yeah, I like the architecture in the top, it's really beautiful. And then you see like a lot of bodegas. And this is really cool over here. Now I'm in 135th, making one block down. I'm gonna make it to Adam Clayton Boulevard, another main road over here. And I'm gonna walk, and I'm gonna walk a couple of blocks between 137 and 138, and this will be like a little historic district. I guess it's gonna be like some nice houses or architecture, which I heard about it, but I never seen it. So this is actually gonna be my first time seeing it. I'm gonna show you guys, so stay tuned. And I made it here to Adam Clayton, pretty main street. Cover with beautiful architecture, so I'm probably gonna cross the street and the other historic districts will be over there. Which is also called the San Nicolas Historic District. And it's supposed to be it's supposed to be like one of the hidden gems of architecture in New York City. So I'm gonna check that out since I'm a huge fan of architecture. This is on the 36. A lot of brown buildings. Keep walking a little forward. Across the street, then I'll make a left. And the little district should be over there. And this is not the street, but I'll make a little detour because I gotta say it's a really beautiful street that you're gonna see ahead of me. Let's make it deeper. And like I say, one of my favorite type of buildings in New York City is the brownstones. Look at this. All the way here in the heart of Harlem, uptown. It's like walking in a scenic street and you're surrounded by the tree, by the trees, so it's really beautiful. So this is actually 138 San Nicolas Historic District. And like I say, a lot of history with the architecture of New York City over here. So gonna walk and see what's happening. So far, beautiful street, colorful buildings right here. You can see the scenery here of the road. Let's walk forward to see what's happening. I see like a couple of gates. So this is actually a little hidden gem that I didn't knew much about. And it's right here in New York City. You can see it has the gate, so it's actually private. There's like a little road over there, so it's an area, it's an area where you can park your cars. I'm not gonna lie, like the buildings over here kind of reminds me of the historic district in Mott Haven in South Bronx, which I made a video there too. Yeah, but so far, so cool. So I'm walking around Frederick Douglass Boulevard. Here you can see the new development going on. And with the historic district, I want to show you this is like the gate, so it's actually pretty private. And they got kind of like an alley like that with their own parking. So yeah, really cool how they preserve the streets over here in Harlem. So now I'm making my walk to a local park over here called San Nicolas. And I believe in the other side of the park is the west side of Harlem. A neighborhood that I've been a few times, I cover a video there of Uptown Bounce, Uptown Night Market, which also is like a food market to do under the arch. So it was really cool if you guys want to check it out, but I'm going to walk over here and so far I'm seeing like a cathedral and with beautiful architecture, so I'm going to show you. So this is the park over here and not sure if you can see the cathedral, I'm not sure if it's part of the university. There's like a court over there where you can play handball, actually the trees are blocking the view of the architecture. But this is a nice area, so I'm going to see if I can make it to the park. So it kind of resembles a little bit of Central Park, but this is San Nicolas Park. Not really like a big park, but i never been in it, so I think I might have passed by it one time by car, so I'm going to walk over. I'm going to walk around and see what can I find in this park. A couple of stairs over here, so may I might get a view of the city. But we'll find out. That's the beauty about exploring. And then the other side of the park is the City College of New York. And if you go a little towards downtown, it's actually Columbia University, one of the most prestigious universities in New York City. So. Like I said, it's a small park, but it's surrounded by a lot of vegetation. So we're gonna go find out what's happening around here. So Harlem's over here, and as small as this park is, it's perfect for hiking. It's literally up the hills. So I'm gonna see if I can go over here. I'm not sure if it's gonna take me to another street, but I wanna see if I end up near the cathedral that I wanna show you guys, but perfect workout, perfect workout. So not sure how clear can you see it, but it's actually not a cafe, it's actually part of the City College of New York. And as I'm walking around the park, I see a beautiful house, so I can walk in front of it to see what, is it, what it is about. It's over there, and you can see how this goes all the way down the hill, so as small as it is, it's a really beautiful park, but let's see what this house is about. The view of the park, and this park goes all the way deep over that way, so I'm going to walk over that way. 
but this is actually the Hamilton Grant National Memorial. So I like a house here in the middle of all this concrete jungle of the city. So then you got a hill, people bring their pets and they play around. So it's a little bit run down, not sure if they're gonna renovate it. But pretty interesting to look at, you know, in the entrance of a house. So welcome. So I saw a little bit of this beautiful park, but now I'm gonna make it to the main avenue, which is 125th Street, which is full with a lot of shops, a lot of history, and they got the Apollo Theater, a lot of cool restaurants, so we're gonna see what's happening over there. As I get close to 125th, I can see how business is gonna start getting. Like I said, there's a lot of business. It's, made, it's mostly like the shopping district of this neighborhood over here, Harlem. And really beautiful how they kept it, so. Really excited to see what's happening over there and show you guys. So I'm getting closer here, so you're gonna make a left and see the action of 125th. So this is 125th. You can see all the shopping district, a lot of street vendors selling their products, a lot of stores, local stores, and even main brands. Like across the street, we got an old navy, we're just all over the United States. It's a street art. Now I'm on the other side. I can see also how they develop like some new buildings, like a lot of nice stores. There's even a red lobster, but I think it's to support like the local market that's happening in Harlem. Not too much going on. Usually it gets more busy than this. And then across the street, you see the iconic Apollo. I'm probably gonna cross the street and pass under it. This is really like a history over here in Harlem. This is it, the iconic Apollo Theater. A lot of history with this theater over here. Passing underneath, a lot of tourists, they come over here and they flock and take pictures of it. Like I say it's pretty empty now, not much going on, but yeah, totally worth when you come to Harlem. And I keep walking my street here and you see a lot of street vendors. Literally like a market, like I say, in New York City, you don't really need like malls because they got people that sell their products over here, so. Yeah, this is it, 125th in a really cool neighborhood in New York City. Like I say, it's actually one of my favorite neighborhoods in the borough of Manhattan. Then I crossed the other side of 125th, so you have an idea what's happening on this side. Stores to my right, street banders to my left. Like mostly when you go in uptown in the Bronx or Brooklyn, you're gonna see a lot of streets like this. You can find everything, nice clothes, nice style, outfits, and really affordable prices too, so. Just also sell like cologne, you know, a little bit of everything, herbs. Clothes for female. I love Harlem shirts, socks, like everything you need, they got it. This little plaza over here, they're developing it, but it's actually called the African Square. I don't see much going on, but usually there will be like a lot of African people selling like their products. Or it's like walk a little fort. Pretty empty today, but usually they do activities in the summer. They play music events, so you see a lady selling her stuff. Yeah, so there are a couple of vendors over here selling. And they got an H&M over there, and then they got this beautiful street meal, so I'm probably gonna Walk over there and check out the mural. And this is the mural representing what Harlem is about. Apollo Theater. Huge African American community here in New York City. Then you got the Boundstone Buildings over here. Then you got this other beautiful mural over here. Really gorgeous, the art. I'm a fan of street art, so this is gorgeous right here. Here I am at Malcolm X Boulevard, near 125th to show you there's a couple of good restaurants over here for you to eat. But here they got Red Roosters, which I heard is pretty good. And this over here is Sylvia's, really famous for soul food. I heard they sell some really good chicken and waffles right here. Pretty iconic place, a lot of history over here with this place. So it's beautiful. 
So yeah, if you want to get like some good soul food in New York City, I think this is the place to be, especially this neighborhood of Harlem. So now they put up like a outdoor dining or something like that. I don't remember seeing this, but yeah, iconic. And at my job, I've had tourists coming here to New York City, and one lady, she came to Harlem actually, even when their family warned her not to warn her not to come here to Harlem because they said it was so dangerous. But she came here and he said it was the best moment of her life in the trip in New York City and the food was amazing to people so you can't let the media judge you you know this is a really cool neighborhood now I'm gonna walk near another local park over here Marcus Garvey Park I've never been around but I'm gonna see what's happening it's probably not that big but I'm just gonna walk around in the square and then keep going and explore a little bit more of the neighborhood and wrap up the video so far looking nice it kind of reminds me of the park in Jersey City and Hoboken when you see a park like this but then it's surrounded by beautiful architecture like brownstones so I'll probably walk a little bit and see what's happening. So here's a little bit of the park. Not much happening, but I think I already saw a bit of it. And just going to walk to another street of the neighborhood. I'm going to walk to 116, see what's happening over there, and then probably wrap up the video. But even here, I'm still impressed with the architecture. All over, you know, you can see the history happening over here. And this is the other side of Malcolm. Boulevard, Malcolm X Boulevard, and beautiful too. And the bad thing is getting dark early. But I try my best to cover the most I could, but like I said, this is a really big neighborhood divided by different sections. So it could take you a while to explore, but so far it's been pretty real. I had a good day exploring around Harlem. The little streets, they're covered with the trees. And then you go over here, look at this. Pure beauty right here, I love it. Beautiful architecture. I'm not gonna lie, the street kind of reminds me a little bit of Broadway by the Upper West Side, you know, with the business in the first floor. Because I've never been in this side of Harlem. I've been in the East Harlem area, but not like around here. Not sure if you can see it clearly because it's getting dark, but so far pretty beautiful. Once it's seen, it goes all the way to East Harlem. Like I said, I've never been in this side. I've been in the other side where they got some good food and coochie fritos, but let's see what's happening around here. This is actually an African market. Pretty beautiful. So that was the end of my videos going Harlem in New York City. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there. Everybody, God bless y'all and peace.